that object of the object of the attention the community contrast with Corey becomes clearly so the second sense of this poem and he was always quite right and he always human when he talked but still he fluttered pulses when he said good morning and glittered when he talked so in this sense you can see, see that the reputation of the and he always shows his consistency of and warmth of this character that the fact that he was always human indicates his sincerity despite his wealth and good looks he talked to the people without talking about their wealth and the status of the people however this does not stop him for posing a style when he wishes them good morning and here the writer has also used the explanation mark suggests that he was also sourced with genuine pressure in meeting others so the verb glitter is ambitious that it hints at both in the both his packing personality but in the little sense it could be his watch or other tools which glint when he they watch the sunlight so it's extra light revelation and although he was quite arrived there was something inexcitating about his person which mean that he has passed his fluttered pulse we have the immediate image of the young ladies catching their breath and fanning themselves and he passed and the men looking with wistfully and wishing that they are they possessed something of his wealth and his charm beauty so the third sense of this poem and he was rich yes richer than a king and admirably schooled in every grace in fine we thought that he was everything to make us rich that we were in a king his place so after suggesting this this that uh, after suggesting that he came from a background we are now informed that this was indeed the case and the dark dashes in the line serve to emphasize the point here the association yes and the comparative line richer than a king talks the interest of the reader and we wonder how this man has made his fortune and and it all a picture some dashing picture of a wealthy man than a king so richard cory appears to have uh, acquired his riches through the his territory means by the reference to the king or perhaps through his business a doubt is sown in the in our minds in the line of the third and third line in fine we thought that he was everything so this alert us that 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 all may not be well and also reminds that be careful what you wish for so the final line with the is frequent alteration propels us along to the poem its conclusion so the last sense of this poem is the main place that the, yeah, the climax of the story can be seen that the, so we worked and waited for the light and went without meat and crushed the bread and richard cory on calm summer night went home and put a bullet through his head so in this stanza the speaker alludes to the difficult face by the other inhabitants of the town that they saw at the beginning almost hurries a sigh and such as failure of it shows his their hardship that this is also an obvious discrepancy between the people in the people in the payment that richard cory and the people who looked up to him while he enjoys their good life other struggle so this is conveyed to the long drawn of assonance and repeated w song in the first line of the last stanza they have money even to have access the most basic of goods since they were went without the meat and crushed the bread which was obviously a poor quality of lacking in nourishment even the word crushed stands for out it seems ill fitting and description of the coy and uh, more only that the poem is talks about the not in uh, alone in the suffering that such a he demands he shocks them all by returning home and for one he st strolled in the town and put a bullet in his head the reader is left speechless by the revelation and the fact that is even the event is preceded by in the line one calm summer night and for the compounds their shocks so this is the analyzing of the poem and let's talk about, we can talk about the themes of the poem that the first theme that we can come from the poem that appearance can be deceiving that 
that means that appearance versus reality. The poem talks that um, when we see the starting of the poem, the, talk, the writer talks about the Richard Corey as a people person who are everything, that he has a gentleman from soul to crown and he has clean favor and embrace him and he's always quite alright and he was always human when he talked and but so by mentioning his old wealth and his good features that he was wealthier than a king so by mentioning them the poet pictures the Richard Corey as a person who has everything in his life that even when the readers can see this picture we can see that he is a man with every happiness and everything, and he is he has fulfilled his life. But according to the people, also he can we can this message can be throughout can be sent throughout the icon of the people who are in the payment. That means the low class people who are working for the money. So the people were admired by Richard Corey. His appearance, his wealth, and his everything was admired by the people, and it makes them to become as another Richard Corey. As a reason they make, they struggle, they went to the work without eating anything. So the, the people were admired by the Richard Corey. But at the end of the story, and because of the end of the poem, the writer had mentioned that Richard Corey, one calm summer night, went home and put a bullet through his head. That here the poet mentioned that even though he has everything, he has suicide his life by mentioning that even though he has money but according to society the money is the wealth and it is the essential thing what we what we we want essential for buying every good needs so even though he is a wealthy person he died his himself that's not a murder or it's not an accident he had suicide himself so there is a problem in his life that he has, was uh, living, a, living a, a life by covering his own personal life. It was so, it can sh shown through the poems of the clone's wife and also the one summer time that he has mentioned that the writer mentioned, I have learned to wear the face mask to home face, office face and cocktail face. That according to the people's icona, the the Richard Corey's present face was a face mask to cover his inner problems. That uh, he was in a depressed mood and something has been bothered himself insert. That's the reason he has suicided him his life. And from this incident, we can think that we can judge a person by his appearance, which may can be seen to the by the they must say we can judge a book by its cover. So we can judge a person by his appearance. If he is a wealthy person, he has also may have some problems in his life. And next, the, the poet talks about that money can't buy happiness. So even though the writer has talked about the two class people in the poem, when we see the first line of the first stanza, downtown. So Richard Corey comes to a downtown. So he lives in a uptown. So this is, and the people in the payment, the narrator on the narrator's community is living on the payment of the downtown. So it shows the class differences that the people in the payment is a low class and they are living in a society in the downtown. And Richard Corey is a person who is has wealth and he's living in a society in the uptown. So the different differences between the classes has been mentioned throughout the Town and and the people icon that the people make Richard Corey as a wonder that he has a wealth and he's richer than a king and he has his glitters and he talks to humans. The people were admired by his, his every single actions and also his every single materials of the dresses and dressing dressing sense and walking sense and everything. He was admired the people. That's the reason they are running a society to make them as also like a, another. Jet Corey. And that's the reason they are waiting for the light. So here the light means the wealth of the money. And and we went without meat and cruise of bread. So the meat and bread is a symbol for the lower quality food that they they go to the work without eating anything and they cruise the bread. So even though Richard Corey is wealth, 
and he is a uh, he was fulfilled his life he died he, himself as a suicide that it shows that money cannot buy the happiness even though the people in the payment are poor but they are happy but they are trying to make their life in an unhappy way by admiring the wealth and the power of richard cory but richard cory has everything but he died in the last of the sto story so these are my deep analysis of the poem richard cory and thanks for hearing Thank you, Sagitian, for your wonderful presentation. And uh, next, I call Great Ten Sagitian to present on his talk. A great warm good morning to you all. I am going to present about the poem, "The Eagle," a fragment. I'll Alfred. Morning to you all. I'm going to present about a poem, "The Eagle," a fragment by Alfred Lord Tennyson, a poet laureate in the Victorian era. Its vivid visual imagery of the of, of a regal raptor perched on a high mountain's cliff and its sudden spoof, its sudden spoof towards the sea, possibly to catch. its prey tennyson utilizes number of poetic techniques with astounding qualities to highlight the strength and the skill nature performs through magnificent appearance of the bird the power of vigor of the bird is brought out in the very first line of the two triplets now we can move on to the line by line by line analysis here in the first line he claps with his he claps the crack with crooked hands alfred lord tennyson elevates and equates the superior personality of the eagle with the human attribute by using a masculine pronoun he the tight grip of the bird evokes the image image of dictators possibly exercising means to retain their power the alliteration and assurance are used to dramatize the awesome might of the bird as the as eagle is a creation of nature ultimately the eagle symbolizes the majesty and reach to the location of the bird of the sun in lonely lands this use of extreme exaggeration is to bring out the fact that the eagle is positioned very high above the land by keeping the bird high up on a pedestal far away from the reach of the humans the more mortal scrawling the more mortal mortal scrawling in our hum, humdrum lives the alliteration combined with long vowels supports this fact further this shows the inaccessible nature of nature through the bird the authoritative and dictatorial dictatorial power of the nature could be detected from these lines uh, in the next lines ringed with the assured world he stands 